Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 8 of the 4DJ All Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I should have got something to drink before I started, but it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not against the idea, though. You do training camps, though? Training camp. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Saki. Yeah, I think it's a really good idea. Well, I mean, might as well make it like a double date. The cute, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Only in a laugh. <laughs> See, you know, it's so funny that we're talking about, like, the rich side and stuff. I always thought, especially when you looked at the casual outfits of Fonta Megan, that they were the rich people. Never in the million years until we found out about Lyrical Lily being the rich people. 
It's fun to make it. And I was like, do you see Saki's like casual outfit? Love it. 10 out of 10. Would love to wear it myself. It is interesting that they still used what's her face. You can tell that they're kind of still using her. I don't know. I have to listen to um, Ibuki's singing voice in a second. I have to go back and listen to that again. <laughs> but still, it was pretty. Okay, and the rest of you? <laughs> Only Kurumi. <laughs> Basically, yes. Mm-hmm. Cover me. It's okay. You're distracting, Noah. Fine. I mean, it's something better than nothing. Don't get discouraged. Protecting their voice. I mean, because they are already good. Okay. <laughs> huh? 
Yeah, they're both really learning a lot from this. <laughs> She looks so pretty, my baby. I don't know why, but hearing them sing that song, that hymen, um, or that hymn, gave me feel so like graduation. And then because like, if we could talk about Bang Dream real quick, my girlies are graduating! Oh, she got this. This is the gookie we're talking about. Nice. also just a part of their team exercise for the training. <laughs> it's fake. Huh? Be careful, though. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. That crackers. <laughs> but it is good, huh? Look at that spread. Oh my god. So cute, oh my god. Jesus, that thing is big.
See what you're doing out here by yourself. You right, baby. Can still have that, but we need more of <laughs> security cat. And besides, your group is very outer spacey. True. And now you're on your own. Still stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, which is similar to direction. True. <laughs> Ibuki? Ibuki. <laughs>
Looking like a goddess. That or an angel. <laughs> they watched a scary movie and Amy Buki screamed. <laughs> Noah! We want to go on a run. Kind of. Even though I'm not the running type person. I really am not. I'm not. Heck, I'm not even a morning person. Hence why I'm doing this at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But okay. Interestingly, I love the fact that this was a training episode. Not only for both Fonton and Loco Lily. I mean, it just, it gave feels to other series that, you know, excuse me. Um essentially do that are in the music genre that do the training camp episode i mean bochi kind of did it kayon is known for it love live has done it i don't really remember if bandity has ever done it but i think they have as well idol master og idol master yes cinderella girls um i want to say yeah but i feel like it's more of no because I literally cannot remember any episode where they went somewhere and trained and tried to find a different, better version of themselves. And the fact is that it took Miu and Saki singing together and Miu singing a Haim for Saki to find her color and her direction. That was just so sweet. Oh my God. This just felt like a very calm, relaxing episode, which I'm not mad at. I love me some calm, relaxing, you know, Moe cute ass, funny things, you know, also girls being scared. It's cute. It's part two. Now, it seems like from this preview, it, it seems like it's an everybody focus episode. Um, but since, because of the fact is you see Asora, you see Hiro. So you're kind of getting almost like everyone. I, I'm guessing, I don't think anybody from Mermaid popped up. Um, you saw Mooney. But at the same time, it seems like it is going to be another Lyrical Lily base episode because I'm guessing we have like at least a couple more weeks before. Excuse me, a couple more weeks before we're done with this show, because it should be at least 12 or 13 episodes. And so, like I said initially last week when we got into Fonton's song, I feel like we're going into the second phase of each group getting a second song. Maybe, because I could be wrong about that at the same time, but um, the biggest thing is if they start with Lyrical Lily, it could end with Peaky or even Happy Round. Someone doing that final song and such but i mean you know we there there still is a lot of things we don't know about what really truly next week is going to be about but you can kind of tell that it is going to be a lyrical only focus based episode which i'm not mad heck i love the fact that this focused on both groups i mean it, it gives you like the throwback back to season one where we had going back and forth between peaky and um happy around and then we got the fonts on it a main episode and then still going back and forth. But yeah, it was always nice about that. And so I love the fact that they decided to give this to Lyrical Lily. Because once again, Lyrical Lily is one of those groups who was the only one who didn't really get like an episode or like a season based off of them up prior until this season started airing. And so now they're getting a lot of screen time. And I'm really happy for Lyrical Lily fans. And so still... You know, as a Mermaid of Rondo girl, I'm over here waiting for Besco Rica to make her appearance because that's my bae and I love her so much. 
also because even though I also love Marika and Saudi and Dahlia <laughs> Subagi, Aoi, Hiro, and Agisa so freaking much, but Rika is my number one. And anytime when she is just on screen, even when I see the rest of the girls, like I'm always happy. But when it's Rika, it's just like, oh, I'm so freaking happy. Like I still love the fact that they did the episode on her and had her ride a motorcycle in homage to her say you. I thought that was like literally the best thing. So hopefully we get to see more little things like that. Cause I mean, it just, it makes it more when the characters are, you can relate to them a lot more. That's how I felt currently with the new series of Tokyo Mew Mew and ish. And even though season two is coming very soon, and we'll talk more about that when we get to the end of season two of Tokyo Mew Mew, but woo, yeah. Yeah, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to choice episode eight of D4DJ All Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Sunday for episode nine. Bye, guys.